It's September 11th, 2013, and it's been upon my heart to make a video today. And I was reading the Bible, and I was thinking a lot. I have been thinking a lot about how our system is collapsing, and it is reaching a breaking point. There are a lot of people that are coming forward and saying that they feel different things. They say they've had dreams, visions. For me, what I get all the time, and so do a few people that I know, are elevens on the clock constantly, and being spoken at the cash register and seeing buses numbered 11 in, in Praha or Prague um, in the first 10 minutes of being there on different streets, being put into room number 11, and on and on it goes. And today, <laughs> I didn't really realize it was September 11th. Uh, and this sense within me, I felt that I should make a video. Should I make a video? I really should. And my telephone rang. And it was in this telephone rang. Uh, it was an exceedingly long ring. I thought, that's a... And I picked it up and I said, hello, hello, hello. And it was empty. And at the same time, my stove clock said 11, 11. And I thought, okay, I'm going to make the video. First thing I want to do is recite the Shema with the best pronunciation that I can. And with the best intention that I can. El Melech Ne'eman. God is a faithful king. Shema is Ra'el, Adonai Eloeinu, Adonai Echad. Hear Israel, the Lord our God is one. Baruch Atah. Baruch Shem, Kevod Malchuto, Le'olam. Ed. Again, Baruch Shem, Kevod Malchuto Le'olam Va'ed. Blessed is the name of his glorious kingdom for this age and the future. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha bechol levavecha Uvehol nafshecha Uvehol meodecha Vehayu hadavarim ha ele ashar anachi Metsovecha hai om al levavecha Veshinantam levanecha Vedibarta bam beshiftacha bevitacha Uvlechtacha Vederk Uv shokbecha Uv komecha, ukesharitam le ot al yedecha, ve ha yu le totafot, bein anecha, ukatavtam al mezuzot betecha uv sharecha. With intention and with any 
mistakes I may have made in pronunciation. It is with intention. There is a lot that I'd like to cover. I don't know if I'm going to have time in this video. The first thing is um, there's a lot of stuff being shipped in big trucks and it's all garbage and it, it's being sent to your local big store um, and you're buying it and you're eating it, you're consuming it and it's junk. It might send you over the top as far as your taste buds go but it's junk and it's making you and it's making your children sick. Stop buying it and they won't make it. That's all I have to say about that because I want to be quick. The other thing is you can spray a lot of deodorant on a stench but it only covers it up. It doesn't take away the problem. You may go into some very, very fancy hotels, see a lot of glitz and beauty, but what is happening in the families for the people that are working in those hotels for very low wages? And they're probably living in very, <laughs> very likely uh, um, messy environments at home, not so pristine, and, and maybe they have they never see their children because they're working all the time just trying to get along and so they have to buy that food I was telling you about that is garbage. That's the other thing. So there's a lot of stink and it's behind the doors of people in this world, in innocent people that don't know how to get along any other way. We need to get back to nature and that's my prayer as I have uh, some Jerusalem artichokes growing um, out back right now in our little garden. And um, they are a testament to the beauty in nature and to God's love as he, as he gives. Now I'm going to read. This is uh, chapter 4 of Ephesians. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long-suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father, of all who is above all and through all in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captive, captive, captivity captive, and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangel evangelists and some pastors and teachers. And I just want to stop here because I have a Rav. His name is Michael Lightman. And I apologize, Rav, for... Um, saying your name if, if you don't want me to, but I really enjoyed and appreciated how uh, you said that I don't want to be a ref. I'm a teacher in one of your lessons. And um, I guess we just can't help where we're stuck, can we? You know, we really don't have a lot of choice. Um, but there it is. Um, so there are different forms of, you know, um, it is being spoken of pastors, teachers, ravs, um, whatever the position that a person winds up in. 
for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of man of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head even christ from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Underscore, underline this here. Ephesians 4, 19. Who being past feeling. Okay, they're past feeling maybe in the heart is how I'm reading this who being past feeling I would need the the, the Hebrew <clears throat> is better <sighs> it's closer who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness Look at the crap, pardon the vulgarity of the word, that's being produced and people have no time and they are just throwing their trash, even recyclables, in the garbage. And it was trash to begin with because it's just, forgive me company, but pizza pops. I know you, you guys got to make a living, but there's got to be a better pizza pop out there. There's got to be something better than a pizza pop out there. There is. And it's not even food. We're producing. stuff and it's creating uncleanness and we can't cover it up with this everything everyone has to slow down nature provides naturally on its own we are out of sync with nature and my prayer is that we can work with our loved ones around the globe to change the system. And that's it. Shalom, shalom, shalom.